In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your wiki for EDUC 2110, and I'm going to try to do it in five minutes or less. This wiki is not meant to be a huge deal. It's really only going to have about seven pages on it, one a home page and then six extra pages. And the purpose of it is to give me a place where I can see all of your work together easily, and that lets me have a better idea of who you are and what kind of work you do and it lets me hold you together as a person. It's kind of like your online, you know, self in a way for me, um, showing me the things that I need to see about you because um, when you teach online and you have hundreds of students a semester, you have to have a way to hold those students together in some kind of a body. And So this is sort of like your online body a little bit. Um, I don't want to freak you out or anything, but um, it really helps me as an instructor. All right. I think it also gives you something to walk away from the class with where it's not locked inside of course den you don't have to go dig it out of places it, you, you can just keep one link and you've got all of your work um, all right first of all read this section about the pri your privacy on the web you need to make a decision do you want to use your real name do you want to use a pseudonym either way is fine um, we will be using the University of West Georgia wiki system which you can easily make a private wiki with and um, and then you can add me as your you can add me to your wiki and I can see it and it can still be and so only you and I can see it if you use your real name nobody but me and you can see it not a big deal so if you pick private nobody but me and you will see your name if you pick, pick protected anybody in the world can actually see your name and associate it with the work that you're doing I'm not grading on your wiki I just look at it and then I do the grading inside of course in inside of Dropboxes usually with the exception of the very first, this very first wiki assignment, this doesn't have a Dropbox, but everything else um, will have a Dropbox pretty much, or um, an assignment discussion, a uh, discussion board tied to it. All right, so I've already taken two minutes to yammer, so maybe maybe we'll say we, we do this video tutorial in ten minutes or less. All right, so what do we, what do we want this wiki to look like? Well, I've made a template of what I want it to look like. Of course, you can read all of this text here. It's going to kind of explain what I'm showing you quickly. But let's look at the template. All right, there it is. While you were on pause, I went in and changed the color. I do not like the default green that the template comes in. So I'm going to also want you to change your, your template to a different color. All right, what do we see here? We see a home page, and then we see six additional pages, one called blog posts, one called ethics, philosophy of education, hot topic, field experience, and takeaways. So a home page plus six additional pages. Um, all right, let's go back over here. So how does how do we do this? Well, to sign up for a wiki on the University of West Georgia wiki system, or to, to get this going, you have to log into MyEWG, click the My Campus tab, click External Resources, and click Wiki Spaces. So let me do that. Right. Um, you click external resources and then you click wiki spaces. So the act of doing that, of going through my WG to wiki spaces, for those of you who have never done this before, what it has done is it has actually initiated your UWG wiki spaces login, which is a minor thing, but it is something. You now have a wiki spaces login just by doing that. Um, you should see your username up here in the upper right. If you add a picture, you'll see a picture, but until you do that, you'll see a little gray like smiley face or something. Um, to make a new wiki, what we want to do is click Make a New Wiki. And this is where you need to name it, all lowercase, no spaces. This is going to be a web address name. It's going to be something.wiki.westcott.edu. So it's like a web name. You know, it's not going to have exclamation marks in it. It's not going to have spaces. It doesn't need to have uppercase letters. It's just all lowercase smushed together. So think of something clever or use your name or use uh, some other name. I, I don't care. It doesn't have to relate to EDUC 2110. Just don't make it too wild or, you know, you know, it's not too risque. So really anything goes. Um, in terms of wiki permissions, I alluded to this earlier and I'll repeat it now. You probably don't want a public wiki because that means anyone can view it and edit your pages. And there's really no need for anyone to be able to edit your pages. It doesn't harm anything either. There's usually, I mean, I know there's billions of people on Earth, but they're all pretty busy and they don't actually come in and edit public wikis. I've had lots of students with public wikis and nothing happened. Um, but 
what, what's the need, right? So why not just go with protected? Protected means that anybody can see it, but only you can edit it. I could also edit it if you add me to it, but I don't need to be able to edit it, edit your wiki. And then private is only you can edit and only, uh, you know, I'll, you'll have to add me to it is what I'm trying to say. I'm sort of stumbling with my words here. It's the late afternoon. I'm getting sleepy. Um, private means you do have to take an extra step and add me to your wiki. You have to go over into the members area and add K Hewitt and send me an invitation and that will let me into your wiki. It's really easy, but um, it is a step that matters. If I can't get in, then you have a zero till it's done. Um, not a big deal. Uh, just make sure you do that. So again, I'm K Hewitt, K H U E T T. You see it right here, K H U E T T. And that's my Wikispaces name with which you'll add me to your wiki if you make it private. Private works fine. Um, in terms of wiki type, I would do wiki. I wouldn't do basic website just because then it hides the wiki editing buttons, which you just want to have them handy. If you want to make it fancy schmancy later on, you can turn it into a basic website. And what it does is it removes the edit buttons and it makes it really just makes it look like a website. So this tool, just to let you know, in the future at UWG, you can use this for other classes. You can create an infinity of wikis, or should I just say, easy to edit websites? That's what they are. And um, so that's that. All right. So click. Oops, I said click create, but I didn't do what I was supposed to. I didn't make a wiki name. So I'm just going to call this one EDUC sample so that I know to probably delete it later. All right, EDUC, I'll put a little dash in, in between. EDUC sample.wiki.wiski.edu is going to be my web address. And I'm going to make a protected wiki. It's a wiki type of wiki, and I'm going to hit create. And then that will take me into a wiki. It will be the default green color that all wiki spaces wikis are when they are first made and I don't and I'm going to want you guys to actually show a tiny bit of technical proficiency and change that green color all right so I'm gonna click it welcomes you it, you can um, go through a tour to learn how wikis work you're welcome to do that but I'm gonna end that tour for myself and I'm going to actually go into settings and I'm going to change the color of this wiki so again I click settings I'm gonna go over to themes and colors I'm going to go to Play-Doh. I'm going to do Play-Doh. That looks cool. Ooh, look, there's all these options. I'll do that Play-Doh right there. Click that one. So you can pick all these different options and hit Apply. So just play around with it. You can you can try on different skins all semester long. It won't bother me if you're doing that. Um, all right. And to get back to the home page now, to get out of that, I can click Wiki Home over here. I can click EDUC Sample over here. All of that takes me to my home page. All right. So let's go look back at the instructions so that you guys have something to tie all of this to. All right, so we signed up for a wiki. We created a new wiki. We named it. We decided if it was public, pre protected, or private, and we changed its color. That's what I just did. So now I'm going to create the following pages, and I'm going to put them in this order. So that's six pages that I want to make. That's blog posts, ethics, philosophy of education, hot topic, field experience, and takeaways. So how do we do that? Well. The way you do it is, see where it says Pages and Files here, and there's a little plus sign next to it? You can click the plus sign. And just a quick note, if you use a slightly different template, remember when we went into Settings earlier, now the Settings button's up here, we went into Settings and changed the, the theme um, to this Play-Doh theme. Um, when you've changed that theme or that template a little bit, it might move these buttons around, but they're usually going to be there. They're going to be somewhere around here, so you have to hunt a little bit. Sometimes it puts them on the, some of them on the bottom. All right, so pages and files is what we want. Click the plus sign. Simply type the name of the first one, blog posts, and hit create. Now, there's something I want you to do when you get to this page. Type at least one letter and put it on that page and click save. You have to type something and put it on that page, okay? The reason we do that is because it makes that page exist, and once that page exists, it is thrown into the navigation bar. If you fail to type that X or that period or whatever symbol or string of words on there just to kind of hold the place, then that page doesn't quite exist for Wikispaces, and it will not appear on the navigation bar. We want it to be on the navigation bar so you can do one of the important steps coming up. All right, so let me type up the rest of these pages. The next one is Ethics ethics, hit create. Now this is a wiki, this is like a Word document. Right now it's in edit mode. I'm going to type the letter X on there. I'm going to hit save. I'm saving it, locking down the page. And now you see ethics is over here. 
All right, pages and files. Philosophy of education. Create. And what I didn't mention the last time was that it has us in edit mode. Um, let me show you just for a second. Let me take a side trip to get back. So we saved it and it locked the page down. I can't do anything anymore. I'm time clicking and nothing's happening. But to get back in there and to add something else like you know, I just added the letter C or to type whatever, you, you, you had to hit edit and then you just hit save again to lock it back down. I think you a lot of you know that but just to be clear. So you see we've got three pages now. Um, we've got I need hot topic, field experience, and takeaways next. Hot topic And I could pause you, and I, I could assume that you know how to do this, but I'm just going to show you the whole darn thing. Field experience. X. Save. And take aways. Create. Put the little X to mark the spot. Hit save. Okay. Now. We've got our wiki, we've got these these pages, um, but let's see what happens here. Oh, it looks like it, no, it didn't quite put it in the order, it didn't put it in the, quite the order that I wanted. It put it in alpha order from B, E, F, H, P, T. So that's not quite the order I want you guys to put your pages in. There's a slight change. So I want you to have blog posts, followed by ethics, followed by philosophy of education, then hot topic, then field experience, then takeaway. So basically philosophy of education goes underneath, oops, that's not working. Okay, how do we do this? In order to slide these around, which is what I was just trying to do, but I failed, in order to slide these around and move them into the right position, you hit edit, edit navigation, and then you see that little cross, the little cross hash thing, you can now drag. So philosophy of education should be the third item. Boom. And then hot topic should be under philosophy of education and then field experience and then takeaways then you click done and it locks it into place let me double check and make sure that that was what was asked for in the instructions blog post ethics philosophy hot topic field experience and takeaways okay that is important to me that you put them in that order um, it's a little thing but I, I do really really want you to do that. Alright, so like I said, you use that, that edit and save and you place some kind of text on that page to make it exist. That's what allowed us to move those around um, and put them in the right order. Alright, step five, copy and paste the formatting from my Wiki Portfolio Templates homepage onto your homepage. Okay, so let's go check out that Wiki Portfolio Template. Here's the homepage. It's a pretty plain little homepage, okay? In, one of my, in my other class I have the students dress up their home page a bit more. You guys, you're really getting off easy here. Um, Alright, so you go to your home page. I'm not on the home page right now. I'm on the takeaways page. You always know what page you're on because it should tell you at the top somewhere. It'll tell you what the name of that page is. This is the takeaways page. Just to always make sure you're on the home page, you can always click this home button. You can click the name of the wiki. You could come up here and you could just make sure that your, your, your wiki address ends in edu. So anything extra means you're on a, a separate page. So I, that's one way to get to home. Another way to get to home is wiki home right here. So there's about three or four ways you can get back to your home page, okay? All right, so we're on the home and we've got a home plus these six pages, right? So what I wanted you to do was, actually I'm talking and doing things at the same time, I need to slow down. I wanted you to take these six questions from my sample wiki. What is your name? What's your major? blah 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 and I wanted you to copy them which I just did and no you don't have to be an edit on my page you do not have to be able to edit all you have to do is carefully just copy just what you need and then you go to your wiki you do go into edit on your home page and you paste alright and then you hit save to lock it down alright then the next step, this is, this is something you actually have to do now beyond 
the technolog technology of making the wiki and setting it up, I want you to answer questions one through five from that, that home page. Just briefly, you don't have to write a big novel because you're going to be doing some blogging in this class. You're going to be doing plenty of writing. You're going to be writing, um, essay, you know, th you're going to be writing a variety of things in this class. So I don't expect you to be super wordy here. This is really all part of me holding you together and remembering. Okay, this is Karen. She is a speech language pathologist. She thinks that she's going to work in a setting with um, elderly patients. You know, things like that help me to remember who you are. So on that home page, I want you to answer those first five questions. But like I said, you're welcome to shape all of this, make it cute, make it look better. You can you can take away the the, the one, two, three, four, five, six, and turn it into prose. You can um, add uh, pictures. You can embed widgets, which is kind of cool. Um, there might be some neat video that you're really enjoying this year that, or something that inspires you, or some person, maybe an educator or a somebody in the world of communication disorders that inspires you. you put their pay, put their picture up there and talk about them if you want. This is kind of your page. Um, but I do, I am kind of curious for everybody what you think you're going to do pretty much in those five to ten years after you finish your program and then in ten to twenty years do you think you'll still be doing that? That's kind of what I'm after there. So what I want you to do is answer questions one through five. Again you can change up the way it looks here. Just make sure you address the, the, those questions. Leave six there, okay? And at the end of the semester when you submit this same wiki as your final portfolio, you will be answering question six and I'm going to look at the difference between questions five and six at that point. Um, and again, you can incorporate that into your cute if you decide to make this page your own a little bit and make it look a little more fun than this, you can definitely uh, incorporate question six in at the end and make it look cute and all that but um all right let's see I'm really long-winded I thought it'd be five minutes 17 minutes I yeah, that's just the way it always goes all right so once you've answered questions one through five you're pretty much done and so what what you want to do is grab the link to that wiki and you want to go to my wiki link survey so how does that work let's look at my example okay what is the link to this wiki Preferably you show me the home page, but I'll live if, even if you show me the some other page. You can give me the link to the blog post page, but I want I really want the home page. It's easier. Um, I would appreciate that. So this is the link up here. I think that I may have said no, I didn't say it. Buried within this is HTTP. Just in case you're wondering, you probably don't know what I mean by that. What is she talking about? So let me just show you weird thing a lot of web apps web pages do this but if I click on it let's see select all that I right click copy and I paste it into a text thing you actually see that there's more to it all you can see up there in the address bar was the educk sample but there's actually an HTTP colon backslash or forward slash forward slash sort of buried within this so that's my way of saying all you need to do is come up here select it all, copy it, then go to my Wikilink survey, give me your name, and paste the link to your wiki. And that's all you need to do. So, and, and I will quickly sort of grade these because they don't take very long. You know, it's the home page plus the six pages you've made. It takes me just about a minute to know if you've got it. If you don't have it, I will give you feedback. I'll send you a message in course Dan, or I'll, I'll send make a list of names of people that need to keep working on it. And I'll try to tell you what you need to do. And uh, we want to get this done, though. Get it. It's this is not hard, and you don't want to bog down on this. So get it done right the first time, please. And um, you'll get your ten points, and we can move on and do the exciting things in this class because this is sort of just a little almost like a little technical matter it's part of creating our classroom space so let's let's get her done let me know if you need any help with it um, and I hope that you guys like the wikis alright thanks